Hello everyone, I'm Faye, associate producer. Welcome to this new video about Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Today, our heroes travel to Terra Flora in their quest to save the sparks. This green and usually flowery planet is struck by a drought caused by Cursor's malevolent influence. Go now! To help the planet blossom again, Mario and his friends must reach the top of the volcano. To get there, they will have to find their way to the central station and take the Wiggler train. Terra Flora, like all the planets of Mario plus Rabbit's Sparks of Hope, is packed with secrets, right. collectibles to gather, puzzles to solve, and wacky NPCs to talk with. With the help of people, heroes can interact with the environment in various ways to uncover secrets or reveal a hidden path to new zones. There are many interesting places to visit and secrets to discover on Terra Flora. Giant trees, lush plains, and hidden caves. But let's get back on track. We have a train to catch. All aboard! by Cursa, and we must stop it before it destroys the train. Mario and his friends will face numerous enemy archetypes on the battlefield, each with specific strengths and weaknesses. We need to prepare accordingly. Let's pick Bowser first. His huge health stats will allow him to sustain heavy damage. Rabbit Rosalina's signature technique will be key to neutralize enemies while the other heroes focus on the darkness eyes. We'll keep Mario and the team to take advantage of his great mobility skills. Now, the sparks. There are dozens of sparks you can pair with your heroes. They will grant elemental damage, resistances, help control the battlefield, and much more. Ethering will help Rabbit Rosalina getting behind enemy lines to wreak havoc. We're done prepping, so now is the time to fight. Let's activate Mario Spark Aquanox to gain additional splash damage. Thanks to the splash effect, Mario can push the Uzu out of the train while he destroys the electric barrel with his second attack. Rabbit Rosalina can finish the Uzu off. While Bowser takes advantage of the large attack radius of his Bowzooka to destroy two darkness eyes at the same time. Fast forward, new enemies are spawning behind us. We must get rid of them quickly. Let's use Mario Spark Glitter to lure those enemies out into the open before triggering Mario's signature ability, Hero Sight. Let's go! It's time for Bowser to get his revenge. His landing damage ability, combined with the devastating power of Zephyr Break, his Chakra Spark, and Mario's support fire will make short work of this group of enemies. <laughs> Teamwork and synergies are key to gain the upper hand in battle. Now 
that the back of the train is clear, we must reach the locomotive to destroy the darkness eyes on the Wiggler's back. This won't be easy, as the Lone Wolves will react by shooting any moving hero coming into range. They inflict heavy damage to Bowser. Thankfully, Exospear, his shield spark, absorbs some of the damage. Brute Force won't make it here. It's time for a stealthy move with Rowdy Rosalina. Her spark, Etherin, can turn her invisible, allowing her to approach the Lone Wolf safely. Now that we are close to them, we can use her signature technique and neutralize them momentarily. This will allow Mario to approach safely and focus on the darkness eyes. A few more turns have passed, only two darkness eyes remain, but new powerful enemies have spawned and even Bowser cannot withstand their powerful attacks. We have only two heroes left, and the last darkness eyes are far out of attack range. But Mario can count on his iconic stomp attack and jump from one enemy to the other before delivering the final blow. This is it. The Wiggler is defeated and our heroes can resume their journey. I hope you enjoyed this very special battle. That's all for now.